All right, recently the owners of Honey Creek Spring Ranch in Kamau County reached a conversation or conservation easement agreement with the Nature Conservancy and Texas Parks and Wildlife. This means the land will be preserved forever. And that is key because that piece of land, which is home to Honey Creek, is also where you'll find Honey Creek Cave, which is the longest and some would argue one of the most important caves in the state. Now you can't go there because it's not open to the public, but Meteorologist Justin Horn and Sarah Spivey got the chance to go there and check it out. They're going to show us how important and also fragile this ecosystem truly is. We are at Honey Creek Spring Ranch, pristine land that has just been protected by a conservation easement. The land here looks exactly as it did 200 years ago. It's been in this family five to six generations and it really is untouched and it's beautiful. It's still my favorite cave and it's still impressive to me even after all these trips. It's still an incredibly impressive cave. So this is our first time yeah. kind of going in something like this. Advice? Um, keep your head above water where you can. Uh, be careful, go slow. Cur uh, it's 100% success record. Everybody's gone in, has come out. Okay, Good. so we, we expect to continue that record today. I don't remember exactly how many times I've been in here, but it's well over 200. This section that we're doing today is one of the most decorated parts of the cave. It's 15, 20 feet wide, over your head deep for most all of it. And there's formations that come down from the ceiling into the water, so you have to weave your way through them in a lot of places. When you get up here, push your floaty stuff through, and then I'll give you my, my hand and I'll pull you through. There are a number of species in the cave, some aquatic, uh, some terrestrial. There are bats in the cave. It's the longest cave in the state. Uh, it's a major discharge point for the Trinity Aquifer. So Justin and I are 1,500 feet into Honey Creek Cave, about 80 feet below the surface. And we've made it to this fascinating piece of this waterfall here. If you were to keep going, the cave would go on for another 20 miles. I've enjoyed being able to explore it all these years, and I hope that, that future generations of cavers can also in, enjoy it uh, and continue to add to its survey. Sarah, what you think? Amazing. And the water is so cool. It was beautiful to actually be in the aquifer. <laughs> we recognize how important this piece of property was. If they had decided to do the other thing, to, to sell it, um, the, the only people that could have afforded it would have been developers and we might have houses right up on top of that spring, which would have diminished uh, everything about it. They have been some of the most incredible owners of any cave in this country. There could hardly be anything more important to the humans living in this area than to protect our water supply. And by protecting the land over the aquifer, you're protecting the water. And while you're doing that, you're also protecting wildlife. 